zoax.net. Fractions. We can split a circle into two equal semicircles by cutting it through the middle. Once we do this, we have two separate and equal regions, each of which is half the size of the original circle. So splitting an object into two equal pieces gives us two halves. We can divide this triangle into three equal regions that are smaller triangles like this. And these regions are called thirds, since each one contains a third of the area of the larger triangle. We can divide a square into four equal pieces, and these pieces are smaller squares called fourths, since they are four equal pieces and each one is one-fourth of the size of the original square. We can take a rectangle like this one and divide it into five equal pieces, and these pieces are called fifths, since each one is a fifth of the size of the original rectangle. We can take a hexagon and divide it into six smaller triangular pieces, which are equal to each other. Since there are six triangular regions, we call these regions sixth. Each of these triangles is one-sixth the area of the original hexagon. We can divide this rectangle into seven equal strips like this. And we have divided the rectangle into sevenths. Since there are seven equal regions, each of these regions has an area that is one-seventh of the area of the original rectangle. We can take a square like this one and divide it into eight equal triangular sections like this. This divides the square into eighths, since each triangle is one-eighth the size of the original square. We can also take a square and divide it into nine equal smaller squares like these. With this, we have divided the square into ninths, and each square is exactly one-ninth of the area of the original square. Finally, we take this rectangle and divide it into ten equal but smaller squares like this. This divides the rectangle into tenths, since each little square has one-tenth of the area of the original rectangle. 